Keep your energy right. What's up? As you can see, hmm, not the one I wanted to pop in my hand. I actually did. Nonetheless, I'm preparing for a reading, and we are about to see what's good and what is going on in the First and foremost, you already know we're highly favored and protected, meaning no other form shall prosper. So, with that being said, we're gonna give up all the glory to the big guy upstairs. We're just gonna get straight to it. We're gonna see what's good. We're gonna see what's going on, and we're gonna see what, what, what's actually going on in the ethers because I don't know. Things just feel a little. Feel me? So, let's get to it. Influence in the read. Bottom of the deck. We have the two of this. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. Everything does seem to be balanced, everything does seem to be asymmetrical. Okay, and then we have that one butterfly that just throws everything off just a little bit. But everything else seems balanced, seems asymmetrical. Okay, so let's see what's going on. All right. It looks like choices are being made, right? We got the lovers and the king of wands. So, what is this about? choices being made you know the lovers is soulmate energy or like i said it's a choice between objects people places and things your higher self and lower self nonetheless king of wands is all about that primal energy taking action moving forward and you know you overall being the victor the winner he's he's a rather primal energy we'll say okay very primal energy by the deck we have the seven of wands Okay, as you can see, it's a little bit of defense going on here. And King of Wands is a master on the battlefield, okay? So, this is interesting. Let's see what's going on. Did we sign up for this today? No, I'm just kidding. Let's see what's going on. Oh, that's a lot. We're not going to do that. Okay, Page of Wands. Three of Cups. Five of Wands. Okay. Somebody's sitting back, thinking, possibly feeling rejected. Not really sure how to go about a situation. As we said, choices are definitely being made over here with the King of Wands. And it's looking like somebody wants to celebrate. Somebody wants to be happy. Maybe somebody wants to be friends. And there's an announcement to be made, right? Five Wands. Maybe there's some conflict going on right now. Maybe there's a little bit of tension. All right, competitive energies, but the five of wands is all about the practice, putting in the work necessary to, you know, overcome the obstacles that you're going through right now. Then we have the temperance angel bringing all that to peace. Okay, so there's definitely some obstacles. Okay, and it seems to have caused a bit of a disturbance here. Now, of course, from five to the six, we can, we can get over this. We can always do better. We can always move forward. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. All right. So we have somebody who's manifesting their two of cups. All right, two of cups, a nice, balanced, equally yoked partnership. Two peas in a pod. Somebody who could truly make them happy. All right, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. It doesn't get any better than that. Okay, so it's looking like somebody's manifested their soulmate, their counterpart. Okay, they've manifested somebody who's equally yoked to them. All right, we have five pentacles. Not sure if they want to... Uh, offer their pentacles or what's going on it's, it's along the lines of giving their pentacles towards an investment of a ten of pentacles all right yeah so it looks like somebody wants to move forward towards victory and success and getting over these hurdles as we were talking about okay so we have the chariot with the six of wands so they definitely want to bring balance to the situ situation and overcome whatever turbulent waters we happen to be in right now Okay, very good. Very good. The thing is, somebody's holding back with the four of pentacles. Seems that the key is definitely in the room, literally on the floor, but you have to drop what's in your hand so you can pick that up. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Pick the key up and go through the door. There you go. All right. Cooperation would be key. Okay. Hmm. All right.
Five of Cups, bottom of the deck. Sorrow, sadness, crying over spilled milk. But it almost seems as if it's a figment of their imagination. And when you wake up from your little slumber state, there's two actual cups in your reality. Okay? So a little bit of cooperation would be the key to this situation moving forward. These two energies coming together, cooperating, being on the same page, truly being a team. Okay, sounding good so far. Okay, now what's this over here? Ooh, the Ace of Cups and the Moon. Hmm. Somebody wants this new beginning. Somebody wants this relationship. Somebody has deep emotions that clearly are being suppressed with the Four of Pentacles and also the Moon. So all of this is kind of beneath the surface being suppressed. Oof. Okay. All right. Hmm. The verdict is this feminine energy holds the cup to this King of Wands heart. Will there be a reconciliation, judgment, possibly, temperance, reconciliation, peace and harmony? Okay. Um, but nonetheless, this sweetheart has made a final decision over here. The sweetheart of the deck, the Queen of Cups, has made a decision. Let's see what's going on with that. I don't know how to whistle. It's me whistling. Ten of Wands on the table. Bit of a burden. Okay. Bit of a burden here. Okay. Four of Swords sitting back. Resting. Taking time to yourself. Very much balanced. Very much in your zone. Okay. So unfortunately there is a bit of a problem. Ten of Wands. Somebody's definitely carrying this burden. Okay. We got here. Boom. Oh. Okay. So duality. These are two very powerful energies, very different, as you can see, but very powerful energies. And when they come together, the potential is endless. All right. So it's, it's very much possible for these powerful energies to come together and make magic, make peace, make harmony. All right. And that would help to balance the scales and bring uh, justice to this particular situation. All right. So looks like somebody's over here who's having the problem is is thinking about this with the four swords it's trying to figure out how to go about this exactly okay but as for right now they're holding back in the communication with the four of pentacles they do want to redeem themselves of the situation and fix this have some sort of happily ever after a happy reunion happy union um it doesn't seem like this situation has been through like horrible treacherous days um it just seems that they have work to do maybe they're newer people and they're getting to know each other and you know it's still beginning so you have to get to know each other okay so we have an emperor over here okay an emperor with the star okay my masculine energy on the table the knight of wands that wanted to be on the table okay so we have the emperor with the knight of wands who's passionate yes on a pursuit of passion wants a passionate new beginning Two of Wands is definitely gaining his perspective over here. Okay, Emperor. What's going on with the Emperor? Four of Cups. Maybe he's feeling rejected. Maybe he's meditating on things. King of Swords. But he's definitely cut off the communication. Or is at least in a stoic energy. Emotionally detached. Um, oof. Death at the bottom of the deck. So he's definitely seeing the truth and clarity. He's speaking the truth. Eight of Swords, but also feeling stuck, mental, like in a mental imprisonment. Two Swords, not sure what to do with the situation, creating ten Swords. A very painful situation. What is this? Okay, so Emperor over here seems to be going through a tower. Alright, things are being revealed, things are being brought to his attention, and maybe that's the reason why he's hurt and going through this right now. Ten of Swords. Yeah, so it's been revealed to him that he's actually still hurt. Okay, maybe as he's trying to pursue this passion in the beginning, coming from the Most High, um, he actually realized that he may still be hurt. Ten of Swords, the world, and the devil. 
The world. Let's see what that is. The world. Wounded warrior. Not sure what that's about to the Queen of Swords. So I'm not sure if he wants to close out the situation with the Queen of Swords or if he wants to speak the truth to this particular Queen of Swords. But it looks like he's in a shadow side with the devil over here. Devil and the Ace of Swords. Let's see what that is really quick. Devil and the Ace of Swords. Let's see what the Devil and the Ace of Swords is. Truth is, he's the King of Cups to her Queen of Cups. So the feelings are definitely mutual. Definitely reciprocated. It's just that he's in his shadow side right now. Queen of Wands over here is confident. Looking good. What about the Queen of Wands? Six of Swords and the Sun. So the Queen of Wands seems to be moving towards her Ten of Cups, her Happily Ever After. The happiest card in the deck and my happiest card in the deck. So she seems to be moving towards her Happily Ever After. Very good. Confidently. The Hierophant. Knight of Cups. Page of Pentacles. All right trying to figure out how to hit the redo button on a situation okay okay so apparently there's going to be some sort of romantic gesture some sort of nice energy that's going to lead to some sort of prominent message being delivered okay page of pentacles okay something there's a bit of confusion here when it comes to somebody's um I don't know if this healing manifestation, but between the past of what happened to this energy and then what's going on now, it's leaving them in a state of confusion, not really sure if this is their happily ever after, if this is their Ten of Pentacles situation, if they can invest and get into the situation. Is this your manifestation or is it clear that we need to heal from whatever this was that triggered this particular masculine energy? Oof. Let's get let's get one more on that one. And then we're gonna wrap this up. Because it's a little hot in here. It's a little hot in here. The hermit on the table. Ten of cups, bottom of the deck. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. We're good on that note. Let's see what we got here. The hermit. To the two of pentacles. Okay. Remaining calm, cool, collect, doing some research, figuring some things out. Eight of Pentacles. Working. Pouring their blood, sweat, tears, and energy into their work, it seems. Seven of Swords. So somebody's being careful as they come back around. It looks like they're watching from a distance. Is this, is this the Empress watching? Is this the Empress? Ten of Cups, bottom of the deck. I don't know who this is, but they're definitely waiting and watching to see what's going on. They want the Four of Wands here with the Ace of Wands. Oh, that's the Ace of Pentacles as well. So we have the Ace of Discs and the Ace of Wands literally next to each other. Want, and this energy wants to take this leap of faith in this direction. It's just... Um, what is it? I guess they're waiting on the other player to do something before they can move forward. You know, you gotta respect people's boundaries and all that stuff. All right, but nonetheless, seven of source, sneaking around, collecting information, watching and seeing what's going on over here, possibly watching this energy at work. All right, to see what they're up to, see what's really going on. All right, so we're going to leave this one right here. All right, so hopefully these two can communicate because that's all it seems to really be is the lack of communication. So we're going to leave this one right here. I love you all. Stay up, stay blessed, and uh, love a night.